What's up everyone, it's Coach Damon here. Uh, I'm a little out of breath right now because I've been out here playing with the new CL18 goalie head from Deep South Lacrosse. And in this video, I wanna give you my review of this head. thing you're going to notice when you look at the CL18 goalie head, it's kind of a, uh, a head turner because of this face shape. Long, long ago uh, in the original goalie heads, you had the triangle design. Okay, you see that in the wooden sticks. You see that in the STX Goalmaster. And then from the triangle design, they went to the spoon design, which is seen in heads like this one, which is a head from Warrior, the Nemesis Light. It's seen in the STX Eclipse 2. And believe me, when they switched to the spoon design, that turned some heads as well when people were just getting used to the triangle design. All right, the spoon design comes with its set of advantages. It also comes with its set of disadvantages. And what Deep South Lacrosse and Coach Sash have done changed the design to have it resemble an attack head, right? So it's essentially an enlarged attack head, and that's gonna give you several uh, advantages as a goalie, uh, mostly because, listen, you've got this channel right here, this built-in channel, and that's gonna allow you to cradle a lot easier, that's gonna make your outlet passes a lot easier, so much easier to handle the ball with this goalie head, okay? Uh, that's also going to give you, you know, as a shot hits like the side of the pocket or up here, it's going to naturally channel into this, uh, into your pocket because you've got this built-in channel. When you string it up, there's really no need to put in U's or V's um, like you see in this head right here. It's got a V built in to help get that channel, right? Um, with this one, no need, because you've got that, that built-in channel that creates a really nice pocket. It just stays like that. All the time, my teammates would ask me, you know, how do you cradle with that big goalie head? And even when you watch you know, advanced goalies cradle and do slow motion, you know, the ball is moving around quite a bit in those spoon designs. But with the CL18, with this pocket, uh, with this channel, it doesn't move around as, as much, so you can cradle a lot easier. The ball stays, and I can throw a quick uh, a quick outlet pass, okay? Um, what else? In the CL18 goalie head, when you pick it up, you'll notice that this thing is built like a tank. I mean, this thing is solid, right? This is this is probably, no, not probably, definitely the most solid goalie head that I've ever played with. Like this right here, super, super solid, super stiff. And what that's going to give you is when the ball hits the, uh, the sidewall or hits this pocket, you're not gonna get that bend like you do in those softer, flimsier heads, okay? So that's really nice. Uh, the stiffness comes with the drawback, and that is weight, right? It's a heavy, heavy goalie head, and for many goalies, that can take some getting used to. And in fact, you cannot just throw the CL18 on your normal shaft uh, and expect the same feel. You might need a little bit of a heavier shaft, a little bit of a longer shaft to get the right feel in your hands uh, so it feels really nice, okay? So heavy um, is a drawback um, of the CL18. Uh, the other thing that I really like about it is um, this scoop. All right, so you can see the scoop design right here. It's really angled at a 45 degree, all right? So you can get a shot of it right there. And that makes, uh, you know, when you go in to scoop those ground balls, um, it's really, I like the way they've done that. It's really, unlike any other goalie head I've seen, angled at the 45. When you compare it to this one, this one's angled a little bit, but it is much more of a curved kind of design. And you don't have that prominent 45 uh, that you see in the CL18. So that's really nice. When you compare the face shape, uh, with this Warrior Nemesis light, you can see you get more surface area, a little bit more surface area at the top, uh, less on the sides, right? Less on the sides because the CL18 comes in and then you get more surface area at the bottom, right? So the CL18 stays open down here. You get more surface area right here, a little bit more at the top as it's, this is flat across the top. And then obviously less surface area right here on the sides where the CL18 uh, comes in, okay? Uh, the other thing, and I talked to Coach Sash about this, I think they're gonna improve it with the next iteration. For those goalies that like to grip the plastic in their top hand setup, right? Grip the plastic, 
um, this is very uncomfortable, right? It's got the STX original design here, which with that really wide plastic and gripping this is very uncomfortable. So I think that's an upgrade they're gonna make in the future. Um, I actually set up with my top hand right here, touching the plastic, so that one doesn't really affect me. Uh, actually, I know some goalies set up a little bit below to give them um, some extra reach, but I know some goalies like to set up here, so if, if, if they take a shot to the sidewall, you don't get the uh, spins, but that never really affected me. I just had a good grip right here. All right, um, that's pretty much it. This is the superhero design, which you can get a look at. Awesome, awesome design. Uh, with the blue shaft, looks really nice, looks really clean, looks good, plays good. Um, overall, give it a try. Uh, the other great thing about the CL18 goalie head, and I really applaud Deep South for doing this, 49 bucks, so 50 bucks, uh, you can get an unstrung version of this goalie head. So super cheap, super affordable, uh, give it a go. It is a little bit heavy, but it does give you, um, especially for those younger goalies, if you can deal with the weight, it gives you, um, awesome outlets awesome cradling you know for those goalies who are really active and want to go out of the cage um it's a, it's an awesome awesome option and like i said it's only 50 bucks okay um angled sidewalls i don't know if i mentioned those angled sidewalls go in which is uh an awesome feature to have and there you go i'll give you some shots of it there's the top view flip it around right here side view other side view and then finally that throat that I talked about okay uh, one thing that one little move let me see if I can get it on camera that I always like to do I don't know if I can even do this or if you can hear me but um, I always like to kind of like hit the ball hit the back of the ball and draw it into the into the stick, and, and you can still do this. The head's super stiff, but you can still do it with the um, <clears throat> with the stiffness of this head. So I wanted to call that out as well. But like I said, it's got that angled, uh, it's got that 45 degree angle, so you can really come in there and scoop it, even on this long grass that we're, that we're on right here um, on this field, right? So I'm Coach Damon, that'll do it for the CL18 goalie head. Overall, really interesting, really interesting concept. A little heavy, uh, and, and this throat design needs improved are the, are the cons, but at 50 bucks, I mean, why not give it a try, right? Why not give it a try? And what you're gonna get is a head that allows you to cradle a lot better, a head that controls rebounds as they get funneled into the pocket, and you're gonna get a head that allows you to scoop, uh, and it just looks really interesting, all right? Let me know what you guys think about this head, and I'll see you.